Hi, I'm Danny DeLillo. And I'm Nori Victoria. Welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. We're here at the Cameron Los Angeles showroom in West Hollywood with... Sarah Jacobson. And Bagot mm -hmm. Salinska. With their movie... Have No Fear. Let's take a look at a clip. This is like the manual for the child. So we're doing a piece about um, police brutality. So we just felt like we should just come out into the neighborhood and lift our voice. Do you want to sing with me? Yes! Congrats on your film. Thank you. On your documentary, what you shared with us. I really, it was really, really powerful. Um, for those that haven't seen it, tell us a brief synopsis of your film. Sure. Um, so Have No Fear is a short documentary um, that follows a story of this woman, Adia Whitaker, who lives in Brooklyn, and she has created Ashe Dance Theater Collective. Um, and it's a group of men and women who perform in Brooklyn. And the story follows the creation of a performance piece that she um, is making that's about police brutality and the lyrics and the movements of the piece are um, to teach their kids how to stay safe. It's know your rights training um, when there is a police... Uh, I've already ruined it, sorry. Guys. It was perfect. No, no, it was perfect. <laughs> so your inspiration for choosing or, or gravitating toward this particular piece, where did that come from? We saw... Uh, Adia's work online um, and we got very inspired by her work and, and looking at this we really wanted to meet her and mm -hmm. to meet her uh, team and so she invited us to her house and uh, she we helped her record a, a piece for, for, for the rehearsal and um, it was a very inspiring moment when um, when she was performing the piece for the microphone and also breastfeeding her little baby. Mm -hmm. And that was very, uh, like a moment when we, we, we got like really mm -hmm. hooked up to, to the story and to, to her um, whole idea of, of the work. Mm. The, the song that she was singing that day when we first met her, um, she was singing as a lullaby and that's actually the song that's in the film. It was uh, the basis wow. for that creation. Um, of that whole performance and so she was kind of singing it to her baby as a lullaby and then we were like oh god this is incredibly powerful so we knew we wanted to work with her what was what was her reaction when you know you both came together and said we want to make a documentary on the, the greatness that you've what you've created what was her reaction like we are we are all artists. She accepted us as uh, a new filmmakers, mm -hmm. basically. Like she remember, uh, she told us she remember the stage of her career when she was starting and uh, doing uh, projects and uh, being, you know, inspired by, you know, by the city, by by the things she wanted to do. So I think she really accepted us. Um, as, as artists trying to, to, to work with her with a different medium. She's a choreographer. She uses her movement and lyrics uh, to, to pass the message and we, we have a medium of, of the film. Um, I think that was the... Yeah. Mm. It, was, it was very powerful, wasn't it? it extremely powerful. It's, it's, um, I know we were talking a little bit about um, some of the uh, undercurrents of the movements that are happening here in America mm. and that uh, you may not be aware of in other parts of the world. And can you tell us a little bit about the undercurrents that you found that were maybe commonalities between your world and her world, even though they appear outwardly very different? Yeah. Um... I think that part of the reason we wanted to work with her was because um, we always watch these pieces in the news about police brutality and um, I think when we started working with her and realized that as a mother it's a fear that you have to live with every day yeah. and that's a fear that, that we don't relate to. I mean, we're outraged by the news that we see but um, 
we don't have this fear that we have to confront every day. And she told us about how as soon as she found out that her baby was a boy and she was nervous from day one about the mm. kind of world that he would have to live in and what he would confront on a day-to-day -day basis, um, uh, she realized that she really wanted to, to start using her art and turning it into to direct oh. action. And so I think that we don't have that experience um, as white women. Mm -hmm. um, however, we could understand the fear that a mother would have. There's already enough fear of like how to raise your kids um, in this world. And, and it was just kind of understanding this new perspective, this added layer of fear that we, we couldn't relate to that made us really want to. So I think like the, the womanhood and like the, the motherhood uh, theme was very important for us. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and, and we like, Three, as the a three women, yeah. yeah, and our DP like, was a woman too. It was just like yeah. very female, yeah, oriented team, and um, and also for me coming from from a different country and being right. a newcomer to to the United States, uh, I think it was an important lesson for me to learn uh, yeah. what privilege I come with uh, mm -hmm. already, yeah. and to have that you know journey to go through. Uh, with Adia, Asha Dance Theater Collective, mm -hmm. Sarah, uh, was very, very important for me. I think it's, you know, as an, as an artist, as a storyteller, it's so important to try to find those things that mm -hmm. we have in common. And um, the, the theme that I saw, one of them in this film, was how you can never rest on certain things. And I think all of us have something that um, other people may not know about that mm -hmm. we just live with every day and it's just a part of us and we don't rest from it and being able to communicate that in different mm -hmm. art forms is so important for um, just being able to empathize I think yeah. as a human to to yeah. one another and our right. struggles it's incredible what what you guys have been mm -hmm. able to do and Thank communicate you. in mm -hmm. that way. That was, that was an Definitely. important thing that we wanted <clears throat> to reflect in the film was that this wasn't about like gearing up for the big performance at the end because this is something that Adia and the rest of the Ashe crew um, live with every day, and so like it's part of um, mm -hmm. her role as a mother. It's what she deals mm -hmm. with in her workplace and with creating work with her dancers. So it wasn't about leading up to an event. It was supposed to just kind of all be woven together to reflect that it's like just daily life. Life, and how yeah. And we work with our like the structure of the film. Also, we yeah. try to like reflect that. So it's like so many layers to yeah. to this work to 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 their work. I think it's so, you know, going on from what you said, Nora, I think it's beautiful you can engage in a journey of something that, you know, is a little far removed, but find, you know, common, common sort of, you know, understanding of, of something that, you know, as a mother, you can be, you can feel what she's, like what she's going through mm -hmm. if you don't know what she's kind of going through. Um, I think that's amazing when you can create something, you know, and, and actually, as a documentary filmmaker yourselves, learn so much by what you, your subject mm -hmm. and what's happening. What I found so, just I just so enjoy watching, I'm sure you probably did Nori too, is just her crew have so much trust. Like there's just, you know, you could really just feel their performance mm -hmm. and everything. They really, I mean, what was, what was, what were they, what was their experience like in working with them, her, her amazing crew that she's put together? It's an incredible community and they all watch each other's kids, spend mm. time together all the time, and it's a really close-knit um, group. It's, there's a couple generations. Adia started it with one generation, and then when we came in, it was actually kind of starting with a few new people. Um, so they've been working together for a really long time, and I, they really feel like family. So it's yeah. kind of just such a pleasure to be part of it for a short time. Yeah. Mm. And through, through the whole process, we were um, we were part of the rehearsals and, and going to their performances mm. and, and we, um, that was very important for us to, to go through this process. Mm -hmm. And many times we were just there at the rehearsal without any equipment, just to, to yeah. learn uh, first. Wow. See the process. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been like six months we, we very intensively work 
wow. all together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I, that I loved about this piece is that it asks the question, it's a, it's a hard question to, to ask, is how do you make a movement stick? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's easy to highlight a movement, easy to highlight a struggle, but they asked directly her crew, and mm -hmm. how do you make it stick after the hashtags, exactly. after the, um, the news broadcast, like mm -hmm. you say, you see it and you get outraged, and I saw almost a parallel between trying to make the dance moves stick in, and the talk of the movement. And mm -hmm. I just thought that was an incredible um, conversation starter. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the tail end of a continuing mm -hmm. um, dialogue that, okay, now that we've seen this, where do you go from here? Right. So, so I, I just wonder, like, has there been any contact since the the film uh, regarding the police brutality movement and where it's going and their group is taking it from from that performance piece mm -hmm. um well they perf have performed it in a few different places um idea then got very very busy with grad school <laughs> 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 um, because she really wants to make ashe she wants to make it into a real institution and great and it's really so she's pretty much since it ended our, our work together. I um, sometimes I help Adia by filming things, um, mm -hmm. so we're in touch with each other's lives. But I think her actual yes. focus right now has been to get through her studies so she can figure out how to make Ashe like a, a sustainable business. Um, and and I think f for her and f um, what was pretty much one of the most important things was as we said like passing these lessons of strength to children mm -hmm. to like the next generation of Ashe. So um, I think that that, unfortunately, this is not the kind of topic that it's like, okay, good that we did this film now because it's like in the news right now. It's, it's relevant always. So mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, I hope that she can, I'm, I'm sure she will continue performing it and the, the words of the piece will stick for generations to come. Well, I love that there is movement to create sustainability mm -hmm. whether mm -hmm. it's through the organization mm -hmm. um, the actual film itself I'm sure it'll it'll live and resonate mm -hmm. uh, you guys have done an incredible job yeah, yeah of you conveying the, you. a message that's difficult to receive mm -hmm. for a lot of people mm -hmm. and as, as co-directors as well which is just you know yeah. a great a wonderful undertaking because um, you know I think it's really great when you can mold your great attributes together and, and, and create what you just did which mm -hmm. was so powerful for us um what's it yeah huh oh i was going to ask, how did you find each other mm, good question <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> do you wanna... uh well i moved to new york for the 10-month program fellowship at union docs okay. it's a center for documentary art and I highly recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and we uh we took the same program we got in at the same year and it's a center which um uh, really underlines the collaborative process mm -hmm. and pushing the methodology, not only portraying uh, in documentary filmmaking, but also um, challenging the methodology, mm -hmm. uh, collaborate, yeah. working together. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we kind of were like teaming up in different, uh, in different uh, groups and we end up being in the same group. We really clicked. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, by by actually meeting Adia that was really connected us and we were both like really wanted to work on this project mm -hmm. together we thought we could bring different perspective to mm, to mm. to the same project nice. and yeah and mm -hmm. then we mm. co-directed and co-edited so, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. we spent a lot of time we together um, did, yeah what 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 is it like like you know when you just You've gone from having that idea, you've met each other, you're working together, you've gone from having that idea, and then you've made this documentary, all of a sudden you're over in LA at New Filmmakers LA, it's in front of an audience. What does what that feel like for both of you? It feels great. Because, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was a real adventure, not knowing each other really at all, other than knowing, you know, we're in this fellowship together, we, mm. wanted, we both loved this story, or wanted to work with Adia. Um, and it was just such a... It was sometimes challenging and we we're really good at bickering and then pushing each <laughs> other and then like in the end being you know it was because of our collaboration that we were able to make it mm -hmm. um, and especially with the dia obviously but uh 
um, become family, don't you? After yeah, that, yeah, it's just been really exciting to, mm. to and, and especially to see it continue to, to be in festivals and share it with other audiences mm. outside of just, you know, our New York, my, well, she now lives back in LA, but uh, the mm. New York community is just nice to, and it's had uh, some screenings in, there's been Polish, uh, I don't, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. That's really well, and great. For, for us, we also agree, it's, it's important to to show it to different audience because it's a different medium than dance and performance. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, their, their work is exposed to different audience and um, people are usually amazed by their work mm -hmm. internationally. Uh, mm -hmm. We had a screening in Switzerland, in Poland, in Argentina. Wow. And uh, people are pretty amazed about their work and, and their message. Mm -hmm. You I just, want to see more, right? I yes, want to see more have all these, these magical pieces that mm. you met came together. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's <laughs> like a magical trilogy and trinity between you two and Adia, even mm -hmm. though she is not here. It's like I feel her through you guys, which is we incredible. feel you. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. And for you, you all to come from completely different perspectives, mm -hmm. it's amazing to create this this yeah. piece. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. What's next for you both? Oh um, well. I, we're both just working on documentaries. <laughs> for, that's, Make it happen. That's great. Yeah, yeah. I just am um, editing a short that I made last summer, and I'm mostly editing these days, but always looking for new projects. Cause, and I love collaborating. Now I wish I, wish I always had a co-director. It's so yeah. <laughs> to work it's, in. Yeah. Together, yeah, it's wonderful. You yeah. can still say that at the end of a project. Yeah, right? it's amazing. <laughs> that is a great, great, great thing, thing, right? Maybe we're lucky, yeah. Um, <laughs> We thank you so much for joining us today, both of you and, and, and your great work. And uh, yeah, thank you for sharing that, that story with us mm -hmm. and uh, let it sure. continue to resonate around the world. So thank you both. Thank and you. yeah, and definitely follow uh, Adia. And oh, we Asha. will. Ashe Dance Theater Collective. Their work, it's yeah, Ashe it's Dance nice. Theater. Ashe Dance Theater, we're fun. Thank S -A -S -E. you very much. A-S-E, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs>